All right, YouTube, um, searching for signal. Gonna come out with you a video about the new uh, Genie 2. Uh, sorry, this is all I have. They have not given us the actual product yet. So I just printed it out and sh shown you guys a picture. We have we have a high budget on this channel. Um, Genie 2, HS17, whatever you guys wanna call it. From what I looked online, cause we did get a class, Goodman Networks did give a class, but like most of their classes, worthless. Um, it's basically, you're going to treat it like a video bridge. You're going to, uh, and it's, that's basically it. Um, your, all TV locations, um, are going to be clients. Um, it can do five HD TVs with two additional 4k locations for a total of seven TVs. Um, and then a couple other things, um, they've, I've seen a couple, I was told two terabyte hard drive. I haven't verified that yet. Um, uh, but 400 hours of recording and HD recording. Um, um, notes wise, you're gonna basically set it up. You attach your splitters. You're gonna want to run a coax to this uh, Genie 2, um, and it's gonna connect wirelessly to the um, internet if you want to, or it's got an Ethernet port on the back of it um, to hardline it. Um, and then you're gonna run coax or you know pre-wire coax to each TV location for clients. The system does not work with any additional receiver. So if your system has an HR24. H25, anything else, it's not going to work. You're going to have to swap those out for clients. Um, 11 tuners total, but what obviously 4K takes up more bandwidth. So you're, seven TVs. It's just think of it, seven TVs. Um, now I was told that you know if you have depending on what kind of a certain client you have on your system, you may have more or less. So I haven't I haven't even um, I haven't even uh, got to play with it yet. So. Yeah, two terabyte hard drive. It's all it's all AT and T stickered up. It's got a bunch of AT and T logos on it, so you know it's made you know with the utmost crap quality. Um, there's no TV. The, the rec you're gonna treat this like a video bridge. You're not gonna connect it to a TV. There's no HDMI output. There's no anything. You're basically gonna set this where it's a video bridge. So you're gonna set it where you if you're doing wireless, you're gonna set it wherever you get the best you know Wi-Fi coverage for your um, TV, or you're gonna place it in the basement and run your splitters and coax and clients to the TV locations. Um, seems to be a pretty simple in there's no more pin there's no more pin for clients so seems to be a pretty simple install um, from what everybody's saying. Um, again I have not installed one yet it's gonna be quite simple I'm sure. Um, yeah built-in power supply um, so it's obviously gonna power the dish um, probably the LMB made for the um, obviously reverse bands and it also will work with the swim 16 as well obviously not a swim 8 um, for obvious reasons um, but yeah main thing is it's not not from my t uh, house because I have you know a genie and then four HR 24s and a few clients so I wouldn't be getting this because it'd be oh, quite honestly a downgrade um, but from what the people who have installed it said, it is 25% um, faster as far as the screen. Um, there is no additional, uh, no nothing to learn as far as the interface. It's going to be the same Genie interface that you guys are used to. Um, so there's no reason to show you, hey, this is what the menu looks like on the Genie interface. No, it's all the same. Um, so yeah, if you guys got questions, concerns, I'll you know like and subscribe uh shoot a comment down if you guys have anything else uh, did i forget anything power uh no that's basically it guys like and subscribe talk to you later